Bad luck, Andre. Very tight and well played first set. Do you regret any of those chances you had? Uh, of course. Uh, I mean, I don't know. The the feeling was that as soon as we had a rally, I was playing well and I had great chances. Mm, but I was not able to to use my surf very uh, really well to to open the court and when he had important moments i think all, almost all the break points he's safe with a good surf and then i had some some chances drives uh, drive volley that i miss uh, or i had opportunity i remember 5 4 love 30 and i had Quite uh, easy drive forehand, and I didn't hear it clean. And the rally continued, and he played really well. And also the the serve that I lost in the first set, I missed two easy balls. So one was backhand in the middle of the court, and then break point again drive. I don't know those things in the end makes huge difference. Hi, Andre. Um, Simone Eterno, Eurosport Italy. Um, you know um, Daniel since forever, basically. You played many times since you were a child. Um, so my question is going to sound like maybe a little bit silly. The more you play harder, the more he gets back, he defends, and it's always an extra shot, always an extra shot. So how you cannot turn crazy against him, really? Because it's always like this. Mm, I would say the more I play with him, then the better I feel because I start to get used to to those things and get less crazy compared to our first matches. So I would say the, fir the more I play with him, the more, yeah, it gets normal for me that he's coming one extra ball, one extra ball. But in the end, uh, today was <laughs> quite easy for him. Andre, taking into mind what you just said about the more you play him, are you talking specifically about <coughs> each match or are you talking overall? Because the question I had really is, do you find it difficult to play Daniel because he's one of your closest friends and you being his daughter's godfather as no, well? No, no. Uh, for sure, nothing with our relationship outside the court. It's, I would say, in general, Daniel, first of all, is one of the best players and he's playing his best season so far. So, of course, for every player, normally, if they are not top five, they're losing to him. And if they're top five, uh, it's very tough to, to beat him. And... Uh, I don't know. In general, I feel that we always have some close matches. Then I have, I don't know. As more I play, even even if the score is different, but from baseline, I feel every time better and better against him. the The question is more about the mental part in those important moments to don't to keep focus. I don't know to use those chances when I have these balls drive forehands or whatever volleys uh, when he give you this extra ball to keep be focused to finish these points. Daniel, if you can walk us through today's match, what was the key? It was, was a very tough one, especially the first set. Um, close, close margins. So I always, me, I believe that uh, these tennis matches can go either way. So I'm happy that today I managed to, to do better serves on break points, uh, less mistakes. Uh, and because of this tough first set, I think second set he dropped his level. So I managed to take it and really happy with the win. Hi, Daniel Simone Eterno, Eurosport Italy. Your 81st uh, match of the season. Nobody played more than you on these eight uh, that uh, you're here playing, uh, playing the finals. Uh, how can you be so fit? Because um, Andre was playing uh, hard, strong. You defend, you defend, you defend, and in the end you always win. Yeah, I, I try because the thing is that why I also have this many matches is because I won uh, some tournaments or played finals. So I think in terms of tournaments, um, I'm probably, I don't know which number I am out of eight. If we talk only how many tournaments I played, but I don't think I will be in top four. I think uh, Sasha played more, probably Rublev played more. Uh, so... Uh, 
I have uh, many matches because I won uh, won some tournaments. Uh, but it's also yeah, yeah work that we do on practice. It's always a question. Do I rest uh, three days and then I go to practice or do I rest seven days? It's always this balance, uh, rest, uh, practice, work, gym, tournament. We try to make the best schedule possible. With tennis, it's not easy. We have a tough uh, schedule in tennis. But so far um, with my team, it has been working great. So I'm happy that I managed to stay fit uh, today. Daniel Craig, Gabriel. Um, what I want to ask you is the relationship with Andre. You're one of your closest friends, your daughter's godfather. When you go on court, what is it like to be in that situation? Is it difficult? Is it easy to shut that sort of a situation out? And whoever might win or lose, how much time do you give them before connecting again? <laughs> um, it depends a person. Uh, me, usually, it depends a match, but in general, I need probably one hour around this. Depend the match. Sometimes two, sometimes thirty minutes to kind of whatever laugh about it. And for sure, I will be disappointed, but I can you know talk to people, laugh about it. I think Andre needs a little bit more time, but that's just uh, the way he is. To be honest, on court, I don't know how it is for him. For me, on court doesn't exist. Friends, uh, enemies, I just try to win the match. I don't think about anything else. But when the last point is finished, that's when I'm like, I feel sorry for him. You know, he lost the match. Um, but it's the same for him. If he if he beats me, I mean, last last year was brutal when he beats me. So, so I felt uh, for one or two days, he was kind of shy to talk to me and uh, uh, taking care. So uh, it's the same, you know, you always try to look at him and see if tomorrow we can, you know, talk like normal and I'm going to say him good luck, go for it the next matches and he's probably going to say the same. I was told in the question. So uh, I was thinking that you still drive him crazy, but apart from that, uh, for some reasons, because he loses his mind uh, more when he plays against you than anybody else. But uh, about your future, even if you're very young, uh, still a champion, and so on. What do, would you like to be when uh, you will not be a tennis player anymore? Would you like to be a TV commentator, for instance? Because I think you are quite unpredictable when you talk and when you say <laughs> things. And uh, I think you have a uh, style to, to be very good. Um, I don't know. I will have to try many things after my career to see what I like because I want to do something I like. Um, and I think a commentator could be something I can try. I don't know if I'm going to like it and if I'm not going to like it, I'm going to say, okay, I don't do it. Uh, same about coaching. I don't know if I can be a good coach, but I would like to try it one day. But what I for sure will try to do depends uh, how my life goes, but I will try is uh, to be uh, an amateur racing driver. That's my dream. Um, I For sure, I cannot go professional anywhere but like this uh, some like Ferrari challenge or whatever where you pay money and you race throughout the whole year on the best tracks of the world this I'm going to do with some of my friends Hi Daniel uh, are you surprised about uh, Sasha victory on Carlos? Um, if you would ask me two three months ago for sure uh, now you know Carlos uh, it was it's Tennis is very, very uh, tricky sport. And at this moment, for whatever reason, we, we feel that Carlos plays just a little bit uh, slower. He doesn't have the same confidence he had throughout the whole year. This can happen to everyone. This even happened to Novak, which, uh, you know, when he was younger. So the question is uh, how fast he's going to recover. Is it going to be this tournament or next year? Uh, so when he lost the second set, they showed the speed... Um, of the st strokes, ground strokes. And Sasha was like 10 kilometers higher than, uh, than Carlos. And uh, this is very surprising. So in general, when I saw the match, in the beginning we felt that Carlos is not playing his best and actually Sasha also. So I'm not surprised at all. Uh, in the end, it turned out to be a great, uh, great fight and a great match. So no surprises and Sasha can play well also so, and serve well. So going to be interesting to play him for <laughs> 18th time.